let's talk about Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. Now I know we like when I first was getting into bourbon, I know you're thinking for the newbies out there, Jack Daniels, all that's mass produced stuff. I'm thinking about like college like teenagers or mm -hmm. like frat guys just pounding shots of this stuff. So therefore I didn't think this was like I don't want to add like any kind of jack to my collection because just just from the brand wise. And it, that kind of reminds me of like, I think this is underrated just because it says Jack Daniels and the association with, with the Jack Daniels brand. Maybe they should have done, because this stuff is so good inside, you know, the actual bourbon, mm -hmm. that maybe they could have done it like um, Wild Turkey uh, renamed their like more like high-ender stuff to like Russell's. Or Jim Beam made Booker's. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys decided to keep Jack Daniels on the label because they love their brand so much. And now I think because of this, it's underrated. It's kind of underrated, but at the same time, if you go to a restaurant, you go to a liquor store, I always see that this bar or there aren't. I mean, if you're at a restaurant, the bottle is almost always empty. It's got a little bit of a couple drops in it. Yeah. Uh, if you go to a liquor store, you could always see like the black label, the, the, the lower proof stuff, but, mm -hmm. but this gold label, I don't think it sticks around much. There's always like a, just a couple bottles, if that, so. Um, and then another thing that I thought about it, because I obviously own both of these, and but I thought that Jack Daniels, I never like, we're just drinking them individually every now and again, mm -hmm. but I never thought to compare the two because I thought that they, they do so much mass production that their process is so dialed in that there's probably no point that their these barrels or these bottles probably taste even though they're a single barrel they probably taste identical but i was just looking at some reviews lately and hey apparently people are saying that hey there's a, a big difference between the two so let's check it out why not you know like what <laughs> let's 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 test that um so these are different one is uh, 131.7 proof. Another one is um, two. I mean, one 28.3 proof. It's like a two percent difference. Mm -hmm. Let's try the higher proof one. Yep. But usually you should go like from the low. low oh, low. they're so close. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think Jack Daniels, it's a, if you don't have money for like stag. They usually call this the poor man's stag? Yep, I think it's a poor man's stag. But hey, I mean, this is the, the this is the whole point why I love this stuff so much is that obviously stag, stag junior, or like a, like a, like a Blanton's uh, cast strength or whatever, they're awfully, different mash bill and they taste different. You're not gonna con confuse the two. Mm -hmm. But as far as like, if you have those three poured and you're just kind of like A, B, Cing them, it's not 100% clear which one you'd wanna like drink the rest of the night. Yep. They both might taste great and interesting. Mm -hmm. And that's saying a lot for you're comparing stuff that's like bottles on the secondary cost $300 or more when, hey, this is available, this is 60 bucks. Yeah, one of the reasons why I love stag it's because it has so much flavors and it's sweet and i think jack daniels have the same same things it's very flavorful you have this like so many different like your taste buds just dancing and it's so sweet that's why if i remember correctly 80 percent corn 12 percent rye and the malt barley is eight mm -hmm. All right, okay. let's get into the cheers. Cheers. What's on the nose? Banana. It's yeah, yeah, it's... banana, caramel, butterscotch. Yeah, I think it's uh, the biggest difference. It's it's It smells like banana right away. Now apparently the guys at Wild Turkey saying, hey, if it, if it tastes like banana, you made a mistake. Wow, a lot of caramel, a lot of, okay. Like uh, banana bread, very nutty, caramel, um, then like a wash, like it hits you with like these intense flavors in the beginning. And then there's like a wave of like mm -hmm. ethanol. Mm -hmm. Not too unpleasant, but it's there. No, 
it's okay. I mean, because mm-hmm. like any barrel proof bourbon will give you this ethanol. The wave of heat. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. But I think most of them you feel it like right away. But with Jack Daniels, golden Jack Sneaks Daniels. Sneaks up on you here. Yeah. It just comes in a second or third wave. Mm-hmm. You you messed up with my taste buds. You, you you said if it's gonna taste like banana, it's bad. <laughs> I think I tasted banana right away. <laughs> no, that's what those guys were saying. But I love the banana. I love the banana flavor. I love it. And then it ends the uh, the aftertaste. It ends with kind of like yeah, like a Jack Daniels Jack Danielsy funk, which is good. I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think like with every sip mm-hmm. it gives you more more flavors like I, I don't have many words mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> definitely a lot of barrel spice just like a lot of cooking spices mm-hmm. but the overall gist I would say the biggest things are um, banana bread some kind of nuttiness like jack daniels nuttiness mm-hmm. maybe a little like a like a large like a walnut or something right like yeah it, it's interesting you think it was like a the barrel was like in fire charred yeah charred? yeah mm-hmm. and i don't feel any like smoke <laughs> oh why are you laughing <laughs> well i don't think that smoke would be trapped in the barrel <laughs> in the transfer no, because because like the charred barrel usually translates to like sweet, sweet caramelly. No, flavor, remember notes. when we tried Knob Creek? You can feel this like wood and kind of not smoke, but mm-hmm. like charcoals, charcoaly. Okay. But here, actually, there is no any notes. No barrel notes. I think. I so. feel barrel spice. No. Maybe a spice. Yeah, like cooking spices, like, you know. Yeah. But it's good. It's like... But you have to drink it very, very slow. Otherwise, we were like... We got drunk so so many times. So fast. Mm-hmm. You gotta be careful. With Jack Daniels. Mm-hmm. You wanna try put some water? Mm-hmm. Dr- couple drops? Yeah. Or do you wanna try, actually, compare the other one before we do that? Okay. Even, yeah see how these do different bottles stack up i bought them at different times um so not sure which one has been open the longest but and i know obviously being open for longer or whatever oh they're they're both about the same level so but actually i think i can feel that they're oxidized they're really Mm -hmm. i think this one has the flavor changed a little bit okay and i think when it's a full bottle it's much more like stronger. Stronger. Mm-hmm. Now it's like it's, it's still little strong. Little, little mellow. But yeah, yeah. Like okay. Angel share little little flavor <laughs> 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 leaving. I don't know. If Come angel. on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to the other one. Drink water to cleanse my palate here. It smells less banana. Yeah. Yep. This one's different, I think. Oh, okay. I actually, I think I like this one better. Really? I like this one. This one's like stronger and sweeter. But this one's more like, I don't know, it seems like. This just seems like more like, okay. I'm just, this is me pulling this out of my ass, but. This one seems like it was like a top, like a top shelf barrel. Okay, because higher proof means more water evaporated. Okay. So like this barrel was like on the like at like at the top of the rick house was sweating mm-hmm. and a bunch of alcohol left it, you mm-hmm. know. 
but he usually like has more flavor. This one seems maybe like a, a lower, uh, a lower on the barrel. No? But honestly, it's just okay. One second. Okay, maybe you're right. Yeah. Yeah, it's even more mellow than the first one. But I don't know. Did I put this idea in your? Is this like your real opinion, or are they like my words? <laughs> just, just like ruin this bottle for you. I think with bourbon, it's so hard. Like the power of suggestion with bourbon is really incredible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It like just 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 try this experiment. Like let's say somebody takes a sip of a bourbon they never have never had before mm -hmm. and you just start like giving them notes like bubble gum mm -hmm. popcorn reese's pieces or whatever like they were like oh yeah 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 i feel it that's yeah. i think that's like it's very like psychosomatic you're basically trying to yeah connect with and find some raisin similar. bread or whatever <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah 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 it's a, the, yeah just a suggestion but especially if you go like a expensive bar and the bartender will like tell you so many things and you're like, yeah, yeah, I can, I can taste it. They're both good. You know, it's like, if you were to buy, like if there's like either on the, like if I was to recommend this to you, which I am, <laughs> and you were to buy either one of them and then I don't think you would be like, oh, this guy. This guy on YouTube that did me dirty. <laughs> <laughs> no. Recommended a shitty bottle. No, it's really good. Not with one caveat. It's that you, 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 you can appreciate higher proof bourbon. If you can't, then the, the, even like and George, it, even George C. Stag, it's gonna be like, like you know what I mean, kind of like nauseating for you know. And also, I think you have to like sweet bourbon. Like if you are like a wheat. Bourbon, a weeded, weeded bourbon? bourbon guy. I think it's not. It's not for you. But if you like on the sweeter side, it's it's perfect. But I don't know. They actually taste completely different. I don't know why. But it it's just it ta tastes nice, but in kind of like its own way. <laughs> it's like a child. You're you're both special <laughs> in your own way. <laughs> I guess it says. Yeah, I think this one, the first one, it gives you like strong two, three notes, mm -hmm. like banana bread, spices, like this. Maybe this is more tobacco y. And maybe this more one. Like cigar or something? Maybe, yeah. It, it gives you like kind of more options. Although. Maybe I, less banana. Yeah, although I, I, I would think that. So Jack Daniels. I'm sure they, they make like millions of barrels, right? Mm -hmm. And for their single barrel program, for their like so-so barrels, they probably just like mix everything together and just water it down and just put out the regular Jack Daniels, number seven or whatever. But even to get to this process to where they put out like these bottles, I think there's gotta be some, they're not just putting out like random, just like random barrels and then just, you know, there's gotta be some, distiller master like not even the master distiller but like some taster that's like tasting like the good barrels and they put it out to their single barrel program so i don't think they're gonna put out anything like that's yeah you, you actually can see it it's a master distiller yeah and it's a different signs oh different signatures S uh, different signatures yeah oh wow and this uh, barrel house 237 and then it's the Rick R12 yep. 237 okay it was it means it was high right 12 Rick Rick, tw Rick 12 I don't think it's I don't think it's meant the floor I don't know uh, but yeah you, so, uh, some you like, can like, see it's a uh, one signature. Yeah. And show them. And it's another signature. Okay, so it's like basically it's a two different master distillers. They pick these barrels, right? 
I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, stop embarrassing me. Stop and stop asking like these questions yeah. where I don't know the answer to. I'm supposed to be an expert here. God damn it. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting. How many experience? How many years of distilling does this guy have? Okay, on this on the bottle. Do you like? <laughs> why ask me questions? I'm gonna have to say like, oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> but okay, uh, I think you can tell it was like two different masters because it tastes. Well, how do you know it could be just two different barrels? Like even like either guy is like distilling the stuff, and but just like barrels in like on different floors at a different times. Just but the master distiller, he, he he tries it and he's like, okay, we can. Well, I don't know if it's master distiller who tries it. Who? Why then he? Why the signature is here? Because he's like overseeing the entire operation, but maybe like one of his workers or like one of the people on the board to try it, you know? Okay, we have, we don't know this. We <laughs> have two different operations, <laughs> and you can tell. Okay, this one it's more. Banana and spices, and this one. Conclusion is... of this video: We don't know this. We don't know anything. No, and this one is someone who liked more like woody, woody taste. Smoky. So he turned the woody knob on the distill. No, on, on, he has on the still. He has like a bunch of like flavor knobs. And he turns like woody, less caramel. No, no, he just chose a barrel that tastes more woody. I think so. I mean, I, we can Google it later, but yeah, I think. It, this is my professional opinion as a professional bourbon uh, connoisseur <laughs> and taster and drinker. I'm it's not professional. It's clearly that it doesn't matter who. Well, these guys are running the still, but you know they they're making like hundreds of barrels a day, and depending on where it's in the rick house, the the flavor changes. Yeah, um, this one is not even that sweet. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. For just for comparison. Let's taste this again. Because I'm saying I like this one better. Yep. It's very sweet. It's a lot of banana. I think my eyes probably is red now. <laughs> but you cried how good it is? The tear of joy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think this one is super sweet. And you like that, right? Yeah, it's good. But this one is woody. Coming mellow. from a person, uh, what's um, Woodford Double Oak is her favorite. Yep. Is her jam. Woodford Reserve Double Oak. Yep. I mean, I'm a sweet bourbon girl. Mm hmm. And I'm a. You more like weeded. Weeded bourbon guy. Weeded bourbon guy. Mm -hmm. But there aren't that many wells. It's but, hard to find wells. But I'm surprised <laughs> you love Jack Daniels because it's super sweet. And you like stag, yeah. Which is well, sweet any too. I like sweet. I like. I like. Yeah, I like everything. <laughs> Especially, I mean, like. You can't, well, you can't trust this person. He, <laughs> he just likes everything. He drinks. Every, well, no, there any are no bourbon, <laughs> whatever. Cheap, expensive, <laughs> sweet, weeded, bitter. Yeah, but when I, I like everything, but when I have, if I have my choice, I like the good stuff. What is the good stuff? This is the good stuff. I don't know. I mean, if I was richer, I'd like you know, I'd have you know, next level, like the the anti the, the, the anti collections or whatever. You know? Maybe you just likes a rare bourbon. That's yeah, it just makes it because other people you don't want for it. You don't want it. Like some people, they appreciate uh, like average wild turkey, and they like it's the best bourbon I've tried, and I'm gonna drink it forever. And you more like I'm a latest. I'm a latest bourbon like drinker. Rare bourbon. And yeah, if it's yeah, rare. Yeah. It's good. If other people can't have it, they just makes it's it much more sweeter for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. This video has gone off the rails. Yeah, between these two, I mean, I like both of them. They are just different. But overall, okay. If you're new to bourbon. If you haven't tried this, if you don't have like this stuff in your collection, highly recommend it. Uh, I mean, whatever, like maybe go to a bourbon bar, at least try it. Mm -hmm. But I think it's way underrated. I don't see a lot of people talking about it. Um, and next to uh, Knob Creek, the Knob Creek, the 120 proof, 
I mean, this stuff should definitely be in your collection, I think, hands down. Oh, yeah. You, you can't even, like, skip an upgrade and just buy Jack Daniels. What? You think? Uh, yeah? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Should you skip bookers and just get this? Yes. 